this short video is all about how to use share screen, annotate and whiteboard features in Zoom. In this short video, I'll cover how to enable screen sharing, annotation and what that's for and using the Zoom whiteboard feature. The screen sharing, annotation and whiteboard tools are brilliant for engagement because they give everyone the opportunity to get hands on, participate and get creative. To share screen, just click on the share screen icon at the bottom and you'll see that you have some options there. You can select for either one participant to share at a time or for multiple participants to share simultaneously. And you've also got some options in terms of who can share when. So for instance, can all participants start sharing when someone else is sharing? To share screen, once you've clicked on share screen, you'll get some options like this. You can see that you can share desktop. I've got the option to share PowerPoint, whiteboard, iPhone and iPad via AirPlay or iPhone and iPad via cable. So when you've clicked share screen, you'll get some options pop up. You can see that at the moment I've got my desktop, the whiteboard, iPhone or iPad via AirPlay, iPhone or iPad via cable and my Microsoft PowerPoint, which is open in the background. And at the bottom, there are some boxes that say share computer sound and optimize screen share for video clip. So what I do is when I'm sharing screen, I select which option I would like. Just note as well that at the top of that pop-up box, there are three options which say basic, advanced and files. One thing that you can do is actually to share your slides as a virtual background. So this is what it looks like when you share your slides as a virtual background. So you can see me popping up in the bottom right hand corner of the slides and you can just move through your slides like this. And this is where we are, how to share screen look, bottom right hand corner. These are all the things we've talked about. So how I've got here is I've gone into the advanced element at the top of the pop up box and I've just selected slides as virtual background. I do recommend that you try and get set up beforehand with this because it does take a moment for your slides to come through. There's a bit of a time lag in that. You can see that you can also just select a portion of your screen. You can use music or sound only or even connect with a second camera if you want to get really fancy. And you can also decide whether or not you're going to share some files and that's just in the files box. So click on files and you can pick from Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive and Box. The annotation tool in Zoom is fantastic. All you need to do is once you're sharing your screen, select the annotate option from the top of the menu. And what that does is it brings up a variety of ways in which you and your delegates can actually doodle on the screen with pen, text, stamps, all sorts of things. You can annotate in 16 different colours and it's a really great one to use. And just use the erase function if you want to clear it. So this is where it pops up. You can see it there in the annotate top bar when you're sharing your screen. And I've drawn all over this example. So I've used the draw feature. You can change the thickness and the colour of the lines. You can stamp with ticks and love hearts and stars and crosses and more. And you can add in some text box and shapes as well. So that diamond to the left hand side of the screen is a shape that I've added in. And you can see I've typed in this is some additional text as well. I really love this option because what the annotation board does is it gets everybody drawing all over something and you can save this and download it so you've got a record of everybody's work and it's just a, such a fun thing to do as well. Zoom's whiteboard is absolutely brilliant. It's a virtual whiteboard and you can use all those doodling, text, stamping tools that we've just looked at in annotation on a plain whiteboard and get delegates working together all at the same time. Everybody can contribute and it's really good fun. You get them drawing things, typing things, capturing notes and just make sure that you save them afterwards. All you need to do is click on whiteboard as we saw earlier, just in that screen there. And here are some things that you can do. You can add text, doodle, stamp and much more. Just press clear if you want to clear everything. 
and you'll notice that there is a square or plus icon on the bottom right and that is an additional fresh blank whiteboard sheet. You can see the icon there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Make sure that you save your work and you can set up to save whiteboard in your main Zoom account on the Zoom website. Please make sure you do that because in the early days when I was trying this out, I did have some work disappear. And once it's gone, it's gone. And you don't want to use all that delegate work. You can also play a video and computer sounds through Zoom as well. So if you are showing a video clip, then make sure that you set it up to show that because it will play much better. The quality will be better for delegates and also the sound will be better. And you can also just play music through computer sound as well. So if you want delegates to listen to some background music, that's a great option to click on. And here's how you do it. So you can see there I've got a video lined up in the background. So I've highlighted that it's in the basic function and you can see that share computer sound and optimize screen share for video clip is selected as well. I hope you enjoyed learning all about what you can do with sharing screen with annotation and whiteboards in Zoom. I'll see you in my next video.